<laughs> this looks wild. <laughs> hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video, y'all. So today we are gonna be doing a first impressions makeup tutorial. It's been a very long time since I've done one of these on my channel and I'm very excited. We have so much new makeup to try out today, you guys. I already did my brows off camera because there's not really any new brow products that I've received in PR or wanted to go out and buy. You know, I'm always kind of like doing the same thing with my brows with Glossier. So I use Boy Brow and Brow Flick. I highly recommend them if you're looking for kind of like either a microbladed look or the lamination look. I hope you guys are doing good and thank you for all of the love on all of my recent videos. You guys are just amazing. So I'm gonna shut up and let's get right into this video. <laughs> so first we're gonna be using a new primer today, you guys. I actually have like four new primers in front of me. They're all from Makeup Forever. We have the Hydra Booster, the Fresh Brightener, the Gray Reducer, and the Dullness Eraser. First off, I'm gonna put Put the Hydra Booster all over my face. It actually has like a little tint to it, but it doesn't show up like a tint. It also has a light fragrance. Like me personally, my skin does not get bothered by fragrance, but I know some people do have problems with fragrance, so I just wanted to point that out. Next, I wanna use this grayness reducer. I'm gonna put it around my mouth and underneath my eyes. It comes out red, so I'm very interested to see like what it's gonna look like. I'm just gonna like tap it in. <laughs> this looks wild. <laughs> I hope y'all don't mind me having like a little Kool-Aid mustache. And then I'm also gonna get around here as well. And I'm gonna do things a little bit backwards today. I actually wanna do my foundation first. I know, who am I? Seriously. And I think I maybe added a little bit too much, but I'm just gonna, just kinda like neutralizing right around the eye and everything. These are hella pigmented, so if you guys do pick them up, like just a little bit goes a long way, damn. I used way too much. That's why these first impressions videos are so good because it's like, let me make the mistakes. I think we're pretty neutralized and looking fabulous. It was like freakishly, freakishly hot in LA when we got back from Seattle and now it's freezing. Like it literally went from being 90 to 65. So my body is like, Egh. as soon as it drops below 70, Honestly, if I'm being real, Riley, as soon as it drops like 80, I'm cold. <laughs> you never find it's either too hot and you can't be in the sun <laughs> or you're too cold. There's literally not a temperature that, you... that I enjoy. <laughs> oh, it's too hot. Oh, it's freezing. 70 degrees outside is when it's perfect here. Oh, no, too cold. I want it hot. Oh, it's too hot. <laughs> So for foundations, there hasn't been any new foundations that I've been like loving or wanting to try at least. Like the only thing we got is the Auric that I actually did a review on my channel. However, I do want to introduce you guys to a new combo that I have been liking. I just tried this yesterday and holy crap, my makeup looked amazing. My skin looked so good. It's the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation mixed with the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. The NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation kind of gives me the coverage that I want and the Reboot gives me the hydration that I need. So for concealer today, we're gonna be using Kosas. I don't think I've actually ever used this concealer before. I did just get sent it in PR. The shade I'm using is 03. I also wanna like let you guys in on a little tip. The way that I've been concealing lately is so different from when I first started. Do you guys remember when I first started and I was doing like crazy clown contouring and stuff like that? Like I can't believe I used to do that to my face. But I've actually been using less concealer 
concealer, believe it or not. I used to be like triangles, you know, all over the place. But we are just gonna apply it right on the in the inner part of my eye. I'm only gonna bring it out that far and then just drag it down the nose a little bit as well. Dragging it down the nose is gonna help with contouring. It's also gonna help with any redness. Like as women, I feel like a lot of us get hormonal redness around the nose and also like if you're like me and had a really bad panic attack the other day and we're crying and blowing your nose a lot, you know, we get redness around our noses. So I'm just kind of like putting it here and then I like to give like a little lifted look so I add it to the back part of my eye, kind of like on a little diagonal. I completely stopped concealing my forehead and down the bridge of my nose. Everybody always asks me, how do I make it so that makeup stays on my nose better? It's like sometimes you're often putting a little bit too much product and that's what I found was happening to me. And then I also, just because like you guys know, I have a little bit of that darkness, a little shadow from filler above my lip. I also like to conceal in these areas as well. And then we're just gonna go on in and blend. Wow, so it's kind of just like melting into the skin. I do feel like it's very hydrating, but I almost wonder because I, I'm like wondering if the coverage is there. I do feel like you can get the brightness slash coverage you want with two coats of this. Ooh, you know what I wanna use is Patrick's powder. I've never used it, y'all. I'm excited. So we have the one size powder. This is huge, by the way. Like it's long, longer. Like this is the width of of the Laura Mercier. I wonder if it's more product. Oh, it's the same product. It's 12M, whatever that is. I don't know. <laughs> you guys know when Patrick did his MAC collection with Mac. <laughs> Everybody loved his powder. Oh, I like this. Okay, so it's got the lid so that the powder isn't like flying all over the place. I wonder how Patrick gets this off with his nails. Oh, that's a cute design, y'all. I don't know if you can see, but it says OS one size and in the slant here, what is that? What is that called, English major? The slant? No, he's walking away from me. <laughs> All right, so let's try this powder, and I'm just blending out any creasing. So this powder does feel super matte, which is actually good because we used a very, very hydrating concealer. And I'm just gonna blend and powder our eyes so that we can get ready to do some makeup. And then what I'm gonna do quickly is just take a big little jumbo brush, kind of pat everything into place. That way it's not moving, not slipping anywhere. Y'all, I don't know if you could see it on camera, but Mo accidentally scratched my neck last night in his sleep. It woke me up and it scared the crap out of me. I guess he must have been like chasing a squirrel in his dreams. I have no idea. So for eyes today, we're gonna be using the new Wild Child palette from ColourPop. This is the palette. It's very pretty. Lots of warm tones, some chocolate tones. We're gonna first use the shade Spotted. All right, get your little hot ass over here, Rouse. So I'm just working this in the crease and up to my brow bone as well since this is gonna act as a transition shade. I'm actually very interested in what kind of eyeshadow y'all have been doing. Like I know it's very weird times. Do you guys lean more towards neutrals or do you lean more towards towards colorful eyeshadow looks. Like, what, what would you like to see from me moving forward? Because I know I've done a lot of neutral looks on here, but I also wanna cater to those who like colorful looks as well. The next shade I'm gonna be going in with is Ground Crew, and we're gonna be keeping the shade a little bit lower in the crease. I'm also using Manny's brushes. I'm so excited. These are from Lunar Beauty. I'm switching over to these. And I'm just taking this and kind of like pushing it right in the socket. And then lastly, I'm gonna blend these two Two shades, hard to get and feisty, these two right here. And I'm gonna kinda like make it a little bit smoky, like kinda like. So I'm gonna pack them on the outer corner of the lid first. And then I'm just gonna kinda like start to blend it almost like upwards and out a little bit. You see how it's kind of getting that line there? I know it's looking like a mess right now, but I promise it's gonna come together. But I'm gonna go in with Fierce and I'm gonna apply that to the entire lid. Okay, it's still coming together. Don't judge it yet, but I'm gonna take that dark color Feisty and kind of like smoke it along the lower lash. Also, I feel like it's a requirement when you're working on your lower lash line, you gotta go. 
Okay, so I'm really liking the way this is coming out. I took some of that brown eyeshadow and kind of just like connected it almost as if this little swoop here was part of the wing. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Ah! So what I'm gonna do is just take this flat brush from Lunar Beauty. It's the LBE-4. And I'm just going in on an angle from out here. And then I'm just gonna use this shadow and line as close as I can to my lash line. This is definitely different than, oh, we got some fallout y'all this is definitely like a different vibe I haven't done makeup like this in a very long time all right so I'm gonna take my powder brush and a little bit of powder to get off some of that fallout here we go all right if you guys follow me on TikTok, then you've already seen my review of the sky high mascara from Maybelline but y'all it is so freaking good it's definitely one of the best mascaras I've used in a very long time and it's not like a crunchy mascara you can add a lot of layers to it which I'm a huge fan of for lashes today I'm gonna be going in with these faux lashes from Lily Lash I'm so excited these are in the style Milan and I do have a discount code my affiliate code with them is NICOL at the checkout this lash looks so pretty you guys so I'm gonna apply it on this eye and I use my tweezers to do so just be really careful if you do this I've definitely poked myself in the eye a few times while doing that and it is the most painful thing in the world so since I don't have any new bronzers to test out you guessed it y'all we're gonna be using the Fenty Beauty and I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and come back for blush. I'm so excited. We're gonna use the new e.l.f. blushes. <gasps> These are the putty blushes and I've heard like amazing things about it. You guys know I love cream products, love cream blushes. Cream blushes just make me so happy. Ooh, it's got a nice consistency. All right, let's see how it does. I didn't get too much on the brush because I didn't wanna like overdo it. Okay, let's go, let's go. This is not sticky at all for like a cream blush. You know, sometimes cream blushes, they'll get sticky, they'll get too shiny. I don't think it's too shiny at all. It looks so nice. And I'm like, just taking my brush and dunking it. Wow. She said, hey blush, how you doing? Guys, I really like this blush. I actually took it a little bit too low here, so I'm gonna use my beauty blender and just kinda smush it. I would say, rather than a brush, I think applying it with a beauty blender is better you get more pigment that way I feel like the brush bristle <laughs> the brush bristles kind of absorb it I would almost say this is like a dupe for the Fenty and it doesn't have any weird scents or anything I always got to smell my makeup I don't know are you guys like that too I always got to smell let's add some highlighter I have these diamond bombs from Fenty that I got sent before the holidays that I was never able to use this one is royal icing these are really nice Wow look at that look at that get a little bit on the nose and whatever's left on my brush I always just kind of apply above my eyebrows like where the arch is I have a lot of NARS lippies here these are the NARS Claudette collection so we have like an orangey red and then a mauve -y. I'm gonna do the mauve -y. I'm gonna line it with the Kylie this is a can't be tamed lip liner it's literally the only liner I have sitting on my desk right now and I'm to be frankly honest I'm a little bit lazy to get up and look for another I want to say with all of the hearts on the packaging it leads me to believe that this is a Valentine's collection and this is in the shade, oh man, Sylvie. I hope I'm saying that right. This is an interesting texture. I wish you guys could feel it. It's almost like fuzzy on the outside, like matte, very like velvety feeling. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. I really like the way everything came out. I would say for me, the product that stood out the most as like not really working for me was this Kosas concealer. And the reason I say that is because when I do a makeup look like this that's full glam, I need more coverage from a concealer. I feel like this concealer would be perfect for your everyday makeup look. Like this is full glam for me. Like you can kind of see underneath my eyes some of the like blue kind of like bleeding through from my dark circles so I don't feel like it did a great job at 
coverage. However, I do feel like on a no makeup makeup day, this would spruce me up really nicely. So I'm not gonna necessarily throw it in the trash or say it's a bad product. I just think for the look that I was going for, it really wasn't that great. Everything else I felt like was beautiful. I really loved the way the Makeup Forever primers felt on my face. And I also really, really, really loved the e.l.f. blush. I think the e.l.f. blush honestly stole the show for me. The e.l.f. blush and the NARS lippy. I love this color. I think it's a really great color. It's actually showing up brighter on my monitor than it is in person. It's actually a more muted color. So it's really, really gorgeous. But this was so fun. Like I can't wait to do more of these videos for you guys. And let me know again in the comments if you guys like more neutral or more colorful makeup because I never know really what way to go or what aspect to approach. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.